All right, everybody, welcome 21st Lane. Oh. Tim, Jordan, back from... I'm back from Taiwan. Taiwan. Jordan's back. This is a Taiwan, this is a Taiwan episode. We haven't talked for a while. Me and Jordan, because we can't talk, and if we would have talked, we wouldn't have had the... What's this thing called? The, the podcast? podcast. Yeah, so we had to um, hold off on that. And um, I, don't, I don't like it my... It I, I, I don't like my leg like this. I put my leg down. <laughs> yeah. It was hard. Yeah, it was. It was... It was, yeah, I, I called Jordan a couple times, and I was going to call him. I pushed, like, the call, I'm like, fuck this guy. <laughs> he's not even here, he's having fun. I'm having fun. Yep. No, that's, yeah, it's not about. But, like, what time were you going to call me at? Doesn't matter, I still talk to you. You were on your, you were doing stories. And? You would answer the when? stories, no matter what uh, time I text you. Did you sleep? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Quite a bit. No, actually, no, I didn't sleep that well. That's what I thought. That's why I just texted you. I could do that. Mm-hmm. That was, uh... Alright, well, one thing I learned over there. Asian beds are hard as hell. Just in general. Like, they always have the hardest beds. Yeah? Yeah. How many times have you been over there? Enough. I've been there for... <laughs> I, I've stayed at... I've stayed at... What? Six different B and B's, B and B's, B and B's, and even like the big beds, they're all still hard. Yeah. Mhm. All right. All right. Yeah. And uh. It's bothering me. Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> You're so keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation about the things I did over there. Go ahead. And you got like, distracted with the MCD. <laughs> Absolutely the worst. <laughs> All right. So, what do we talk about? Where do I start off? B and B's. We talked about the B and B's. Okay. Ready? Oh, hold on, real quick. Okay. We're good, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, it was gonna bug me, and I had to fix it. Otherwise, it's not right. <laughs> okay, dude. Um. You know what's funny? What? Is that backwards? What backwards? It looks forward. Twenty four. Okay. Six. Yeah. Okay, it is. All right, go ahead. <laughs> um. What, what what should I talk about first? What should I talk about first? You left. I did leave. How was it? How long was it? Well, I was there for eighteen days. No, how long was it to get there? Oh, it takes thirteen and a half hours to get there. How do you like seriously? How do you sit on the plane for thirteen and a half hours? Okay. OCD guy. I mean, not OCD guy. Um, ADHD. Hyper HCD. Hyper HCAD guy. That didn't make any sense. Hyper ADHD. Mm -hmm. That's super hyper. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. On the thing. way there, I popped two Benadryls and I was asleep for 10 hours. Oh. I was out. Did you tell your mom this? Yes. Okay. She ahead. she encouraged it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then on the way back, I popped two Benadryls. And the the plane ride is way shorter coming back from Taiwan. Well, of course, you're going downhill. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> <It's> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not. No. Nah. And, um, yeah, it was way shorter. However, I could not sleep. I, I slept for one hour and then you're like, all right, it's dinner time. Oh, did you get to eat dinner? Yes. Where'd you fly? China Airlines. China Airlines. Yeah. Do they have Chinese food? Yes. <laughs> I think that was, that was technically Chinese food. Okay. It was like a pork rice dish or ordeal. Granted, okay. I didn't eat that what I had on the plane any time that I was in Taiwan. So, what? Okay, go ahead. But, I like, eat, like the type of meal that I had on the plane, I never had that any time when I was in the actual country. So it maybe wasn't Chinese food, technically. Well, it wasn't. It was Chinese airplane food. 
Chinese airplane food. Yeah, China air food. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. <clears throat> but speaking of food. Food. It it hurts. It hurts coming back. What? Because food over there is so damn cheap. It is really good. And it is cheap as all hell. So you're not gonna do a hundred hundred dollars for the weekend or for a day? You know how some copy food? You know how we would go like around and we spent a hundred dollars on food? Yeah. Going to like three places? We we he says this we thing. Okay, go ahead. Cause I, cause I'm saying we, as in me and you, when we go out and we're having our foodie adventures. Yeah. And you spend a hundred dollars. <laughs> and sometimes I'm spending fifty. Oh yeah, sometimes yeah, you're out spending me. Mhm. That's the good part. <laughs> but we went to, like, we would go on those foodie adventures way cheaper yeah yeah like those foodie adventures would be fifteen dollars nice yeah so like for example we go to Din Tai Fun mm -hmm. for the pork sha lam bao that's what the soup dumplings are called okay and they cost about twelve thirteen dollars yeah <clears throat> we go to some random food stand and some older granny is making the best dumplings I've ever seen in my life 2.30 nice $2.30 <laughs> crazy dude did you buy a shirt from over there? no ok I was wondering cause you have a New Orleans shirt on I, I thought know. maybe you put a no nah. Taiwan shirt. Nope, didn't buy a single Taiwan shirt. Parquet. So you can go, so you can go. Look, I went to New Orleans. Look, I went to Taiwan. I didn't even buy this shirt. Okay, whatever, dude. Yell at yell at them. <clears throat> I didn't buy this shirt. <clears throat> okay, see. So, um, real quick, before I forget, I'm gonna um, can I get a shout out to Sticky Vinyl? Uh -huh. in Miami, they make this for us, uh -huh. and they made some more stickers for us. So Sticky Vinyl's been making stickers for us. So if you guys um. My Looking stick. for stickers? Go to Sticky Vinyl on Instagram. And if you want our sticker. Go ahead. Tell them what to do. You can go on the website. Info at 24 com, And we'll send you a sticker. Promote. Help us out. Every little bit counts. Just mm -hmm. send us the... You just pay for postage. You don't even have to pay for postage. I'll send it to you. Crazy. Jordan will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Don't know. Yeah. Catching a stray for he's, yeah. he's got no, he's got no job, but he'll pay for it now. <laughs> That's true. I don't have a job right now. <laughs> I am currently jobless. Mm. Uh huh. That camera's not as good as this one. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what else happened in Taiwan? You guys ate. Um, you a lot ate, of food. A lot of food. A lot of food. So so you ate. Did you eat? Um, one of them. One of the pictures you seen. I seen was um. It was dark. dark. It looked like noodles. Noodles. Oh, that was a squid ink. Oh, squid ink. Squid ink noodles. Okay. Yeah, those are good. Yeah? Yeah. The, that was the last thing I had before when I came back. Mmm. So I had squid ink noodles. And then I also had a lot of squid. I ate so much squid. You're such a squid. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, they, they have pineapple buns. Pineapple buns are money. I wish they had them here. They, you'd be all about it. When you have the squid, do they put the live squid in the thing and cook it? or No, it's... It, it, it's still, I have a picture of it. It's still live? They're not going to see it? You could edit it in. Yeah, but you're not going to edit it in. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said you could edit it in. Maybe you will. Send it to me. We'll see what happens. Uh-huh. Yeah, send that to me. Uh huh. Squid. Like, well, let me see how it cook. Like it, it, I had so many squid skewers. Like right here. Maybe he'll edit it in. Hey, look. Can you guys see it? Can you yeah. see it? Oh, hold on, hold on. I got this one. Hold on. Can you see it? Of course, we can't see that. No, but I can't see that. 
But you can see it. Yeah, I could. I'll, you sent it to me and I'll put it on and you're messing this up. Oh my god. I have us all messed up again. Yeah, but it's got like... It's got squid. And then there's like giant octopus on there. So mushrooms. Jordan's going to send us up, send us, and I'll put them right there. There you go. Boom. You've seen them. Yep. Boom. You've seen it. Boom. You've seen it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, actually, the biggest thing. Actually, I could probably see it right now if you want to put it on there. <laughs> if you send it to me, I could probably put it on right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, let, me, let, me, let me test that to you real quick. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Um, great podcast. content, right? Great podcast. We should have thought about this earlier. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things I'm going to need to send you. Think so? Yeah. Because there's... <clears throat> okay. So you know how we get Bobo? Uh-huh. And it is... um. What? It's about like 650 now. It's like 650 for like a large drink. Yeah. Over there... It is about two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars for milk tea. And boobles. Boobly milk tea and is good as hell. Because like the tapioca they make is like actual Taiwanese brown sugar and it's sweeter than a motherfucker. It's pretty good. But the thing that I'm gonna miss the most and yeah. You know how we can't have, like, Alpha Star anymore? Yeah. Because Angel's ruined that for us? Yes. I today, I was kind of disappointed, but go ahead. The t- well, today, it wasn't there. Uh, but the thing that I will never be able to have here that I had all the time over there is grass jelly. Grass jelly? Dude, grass jelly is absolute. Money. I don't know if I'm gonna like grass jelly. Huh? I don't know if I'm gonna like grass jelly. You you say that. You say that, but it tastes. It tastes like really good vanilla ice cream in a jello. That's like kind of what it feels like. Feels like? In your mouth. Oh. Yeah. No, I'll pause. Good. Yeah. No, did he? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not pausing. (laughs) It could sound gay as hell. That was delicious. Okay. Yeah. Who'd you go with? I went with uh, a bunch of Smashers. Smashers. Yeah, because I, I went mainly for... Uh, Real quick, did you send me that picture? I texted it to you. Okay. Texted it to you. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. More? I'm waiting. Right. It says it's sent. Today, 9.02. Oh, that's when we're recording this. <laughs> <laughs> Case you guys didn't know. Yeah, it's 9.02 right now. I'm jet lagged as a mother, too. Yeah. Okay. So, time zone. It was, I was 15 hours ahead of Los Angeles. Yeah. So, basically, I was the direct opposite of New York. So, if it was 9 o'clock in New York... At 9 p.m. in New York. I was in Connecticut, so that time. Yeah, it was 9 a.m. Oh. Where I was. That works. Mm hmm. At East Coast time. So it was directly 12 hours. But it's not showing up. That's crazy, dude. Did you get it on your phone? No. Okay, it just doesn't like you. It's also giving me green bubbles now. Whenever green I'm bubbles. texting. Oh, I got it here. Huh? I got it here. I got it. Let me talk to you. Um, ooh. Also, they all have the vacuum seal tops. Okay. You know how you love those ones? Yes. Like, you legitimately go to bubble pl- places? Yeah, just for that. Every drink. Every drink spot. I mean, seriously, every drink spot? Yeah. Vacuum seal tops. You got it. Hmm? Those are a must. Mm-hmm. That's uh-huh. not that's not true. Because we go we go to a lot of places they and you'd like the Oh the, no, I like the, 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 the cup yeah. The ones with yeah, little fancy hole. ones. Yes, those are fancy. Yeah. You you're so bougie. No, not. You're not? No. Um 
Let me double check to see if I'm on vibrate. Damn. Damn. Somehow, I'm not getting any um, text messages. No. That's crazy. And it's connected. All right, whatever. I guess Jordan doesn't like us. That's crazy. <laughs> um, oh, another thing that you probably really like, like you specifically, is the walk signs. Walk signs? What do they do? Yes. Okay. So, when, um, okay, the walk signs, they have uh, a guy, like when they say it doesn't, to not walk, mm -hmm. it's just a guy just standing there with his hand, hands out like this, his <laughs> arms out, right? I like it. And then when you actually walk, they have like the little green guy. This is going to have to be edited in because it is absolutely fantastic. Get sent to me. Send to me again. Uh, I'll send it to you right now. Once I find that little video thingy. Oh, the guy just walking across. The, okay, that's a little too late because that's when I was at the aquarium. You went to an aquarium? Yes, I did. The dude, the aquarium down there. Mm -hmm. Money. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look. Oh, he's walking. Yeah. They have a little animation of him walking. That's too um, advanced for us now. That's too advanced for us? Yeah, we're not that cool. We're not, dude. We're honestly not. Because they also have, they also show you the set timer for when, um, like, the light's going to be. Like, how long the light is going to be. So it'll say, like, 84 seconds, or it'll say, like, 19 seconds. And then it counts down. And then it also shows you how long the how long you could walk across the street for. Do they have that in English or Taiwanese? It's it's in English. No, well, the, the the numbers are in English. But why? They use the Western numbers everywhere now. It's just kind of standard now. They do have like numbers in like Chinese. Like they have like a number system, but it's a little complicated. In fact, it like, I think it's basically like it draws a picture. Because when you order, some places when you order like, you want one of one thing. Yeah. You put a line horizontally instead of vertically. Okay. Because that's one. It's like a little horizontal one. And then when you went two. It's like a horizontal and then a vertical that's like connected on like the right side. I've been in, I was there for about 18, like 18 days. Yeah. I did not learn a lick of Mandarin. No, that's not true. I learned one thing in Mandarin. I, I only knew two words in Mandarin this entire time being Ni Hao and Shi Shi. Now you know how many? Now I know. Maybe technically four. Oh no, I also know one phrase. No. How shall ni? That means I miss you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta do that one. Yeah, and then I also know... What else? Oh. Bing sui. What's that? That's, that's like, ice water. Do yeah. you, you drink ice water there? Yeah, I drink a lot of water. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Ding sui. So, sui is water. Sui? I don't know if I have the tone correct. Sui. Bing sui. Or something like that. Yep. I don't know about that. You don't know about that? Yeah. So what else did you do? What else I did? I did a lot of things. Um, there was a Smash tournament there. And yeah. that's who I was mainly with were a bunch of like Super Smash Brothers players. Um, uh, like if you're act, like you actually know like the scene. I was with... Uh, Ignaz, 
uh, Andrik, MK Leo, and Big Boss. And if you actually know the game, you would absolutely know who MK Leo and Big Boss are. And Who's then, um? Okay, so that's what I was talking about when I was um. I didn't say that when I talked to you. Mm -hmm. You were talking about um the bracket. You showed a bracket. You were on the bracket. Did you play? Yeah, I played. Yeah, I played at the FBI tournament. Fist Bump Invitational. It was a big tournament hosted by the local Taiwanese scene. Um, and supported by Club Smash, who I was working with. I was part of the Club Smash scene. Did you win? Absolutely not. MK Leo won. That, because they flew him from France to go play at that tournament. And he had to beat all the cracked as all hell Japanese players. And I got absolutely clipped on by an ice climber's Jesus Christ. What's, what's an ice climber? Ice climbers? They don't even know. They don't even know who ice climbers is. Why not? Because your audience won't really care. It's our audience. You're, most of your friends are listening anyways. Well, they, hey, Jen. Most of the ones that... Like, well, the ones that watch this, they aren't the Smash players. They're mainly the... What do you call it? The Magic players that are my friends. So what? Alright, but all Smash players, they already know who ice climbers are. It's two... Two little guys. Just that throw like the fight at the same time and is the most annoying thing to fight against in the world and then um I was also I was like helping like with the stream and like the VOD stations and you if you want to see like the the bigger matches the the mainstream matches, they were on VG Bootcamp. And if you want to see a lot of the other tournament matches that weren't on the mainstream, um, they were on YouTube slash Club Smash TV. And uh, there's, if you look at the FBI VODs, there'll be, you can see like a bunch of the matches that weren't played off stream. And it was pretty cool because, like, you, you can see, like, a lot of the mid to lower level players and, like, the more local um, Smash scene over there. Because, like, a lot of the people, like, a lot of those players aren't as supported. Like, uh, I was making, I was actually making quite a few friends over there. Um, Bayou is really cool, uh, also known as M Jelly. He was the TO for, F, uh, for FBI. And then Ken Shine, who's been on this podcast before, he was doing Ken. a lot. Yes. Ken. Ken got ninth place at the tournament. He threw. He absolutely threw. Oh, man. We, we should... Everyone roast Ken, because he should have done way better. He got ninth. Yeah. He should have got eighth, probably. <laughs> he he should have got eighth. <laughs> no, no, I mean, he should have got uh, seventh, technically. Okay. Yeah. But, and then the guy, and then Andrik, because he should have lost to, he should have beat that guy and then lost to Andrik. Andrik also threw, <laughs> and he should have got fifth. Why? Why? Yeah. Uh, because they. Well, Andrik, his game won, he had the wrong tag. And then after he lost his game won, he was tilted. What do you mean tilted? What do I mean tilted? It's one of your big words. Okay, so... Is that really a big word? No, but it's a different word. Okay, I guess that's technically like... Smash word, we don't uh, know what it means. It's a, fighting, it's a fighting game term. Fighting game term. Yeah, so... Being tilted is, um, a lot of people experience it in their... I'm tilted. Yeah, I know. And a lot of people experience it in their everyday life. Because I'm so, tilted. Yeah. Actually, you get tilted a lot. No, I don't. Yes. Stop it. Okay. For example, if something is slightly off, it just ruins your whole day. No, it doesn't. That's what being just tilted... Just ruins that, ruins that little moment. Yeah. So, That's not my whole day, though. 
So when you were filth, when you were fixing your, when you're fixing that because it was just slightly off. For example, if I take this thing off, right? I take this off and we let the cord be everywhere. It's gonna bug you. That doesn't look professional, or it doesn't look good. No, no. that's why. Yeah, because it bugs you. But it doesn't look good. Because we're supposed to be at a standard here. <laughs> and uh, do you know what that does? That tilts you. I'm still straight. <laughs> you are tilted. <laughs> still straight. You are. You might be physically. How do I go this way? You might be physically straight, but mentally you're tilted. I don't know. And for uh, Andrik. His game one, he had the wrong controls, so he was playing like he couldn't really even play the game. His game one was a massive throw; he couldn't do anything about it. Why well, he didn't have his right controller, or he didn't have that? Um, in Smash, you make a custom tag, which lets you customize your controls, and um, like. Certain like you could change certain buttons to do different options, and uh, he was playing off one of the Japanese players' tags and messed it all up, and uh, he lost game one. Fixed his tag game two, but uh, he was already tilted. Lost that game. He won game three and four. Was bringing it back, but. What if you're playing in a tournament level and at like that high caliber? Um, there is another factor where you're just having like just fatigue. You know, like you've just been playing for so long, you just get tired, like um, like emotionally tired, because you just get drained, because you're constantly trying to outthink your opponent. And the tournament was it started like what, 10 p.m. No, no, 10 a.m. and then like. At that point in time, it was, what, 7 p.m.? It was a long tournament. And when you're constantly doing game fives after game five, you're playing, like, 15-minute... Like, I mean, you're playing, like, about 30-minute sets constantly. Also. And you lost. Well, he lost. If you won, though. Edit. All right, I got to take a dump. I'll be right back. What? Yes. You're gonna have to cut this one. <laughs> I really have to take a dump. Who takes a dump? Me. Can I just leave that in? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could. I don't know. Well, I guess Jordan's gone. I have to edit it. <laughs> Thank you.